I'm going to start off by adding a standard room. I'll just select a theme for the room. Once I've got a theme, I will place my door or doors. Drag the door onto the wall and set the position it needs to be. I can then move that door up if I need to using the mover tool. Windows work exactly the same way as doors. I will now place units into the design. I will be starting with base and tour units. I use the sidebar to select a unit configuration that I want. And as I enter or drag that unit onto the design, if it has a prompt or finish it, it does not know it will prompt me for that. Usually you will design in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. Uh, but you can change the direction at any time. I typically do my base configuration first and then will add uh, the wall units and the finishes after that. There are a couple ways that you can add units onto design. One is by using their quick code, which is a shortcut, which is keyboard based. Another method is to simply drag the units from the side palette onto the design in the position that you want and drag and drop will place and rotate the unit accordingly. Right now I'm editing the width of a unit so that it will fit in the far left hand corner and then using the mover tool to position it correctly. I'm jumping around a bit on the floor units because I'm not 100% certain on what layout I want. But that's alright. One of the beautiful things about Fusion is the ability to edit uh, at any time in any view. I'm just adding a few more units for my floor and tour units just to get something that I'm happy with. This is really quite a simple design. Uh, I'm going to change the handing on that unit and then just have a look at it in 3D. You'll see there's no worktops or plinths yet, but we will do that after we have our configuration uh, done correctly. And now placing the wall units. I'm starting in the far right hand corner, and what I'll do is I'll add some units going along the feature wall where the canopy and the hob should be. And then I'll probably finish off on the left hand side of that corner unit to just put a decorative unit. Now, you have several catalogs that you have access to, and of course, you can also import images off the internet, which gives you a very wide range of finishes and products to use. I'm just going to position these wall units so that my canopy is a center on the wall, and that the units are symmetrical on either side. What I'm doing is just going into elevation view, I'm going to look at that wall. You can see my canopy is off center there, so I'm going to just center it using the center tool. And now my canopy is centered. Just selecting the hob that I want, I'll put in an electric hob and also center that. And there you can see the wall units in 3D. I still have a bit more, just finishing off the right hand side of that wall corner unit. And I'll put a wall in display just so that that looks nice. Very briefly, I'm going to place worktops and fillers and plinths, which you usually do at the end. I just go call auto features. They'll then ask me what type of finish or plinth I want. I'm quite happy with the ones that are default, but I'm not going to edit the worktop. And Fusion will examine my design and intelligently place the cappings and plinths and light rails and worktop in the relevant position. It's just asking me what color worktop I want there. And you'll see the end result. There I can see my light rail and capping. And then the plinths, and then the worktop layout. 
and I can see that it's also added items to my item list. I can view details like dimensions, etc. And then you can see the effect in elevation view. I'm now going to adjust the finishes in the design. Right now it's a white kitchen. I'm going to select the catalog that has the units in it and just select a different material for the finish. I'm going to go for a, a darker wood finish. Now do the carcasses first. In this view I could change door styles, plinth colors, etc. Um, take the doors off if I wanted to. So we can see the effect of those changes I've made. And right now as it renders you'll see the side panels and the carcass color has changed but the door color hasn't. So I'm just going to go back and change my door color accordingly. And there I should get uh, a, dark wood, a dark wood kitchen. I'm now going to place accessories like lighting and decor onto the design. I'll start by adding a sink. I've gone to a sink catalog and then selected the sink I want. Now I'll just drag it on where I would like it to go. Not too happy with where the basin is, so I'm just going to move that slightly across and also adjust the position of the tap. If we have, now have a look at that in perspective view, I'll see the sink placed on the left hand side with a cutout through the worktop, which gives a stunning visual effect. I'm now going to run two things, auto lighting, which is going to automatically place down lights. And then if I have a look at that and adjust my render setting, there are various render settings you can have. This one is called a background render, where I can define an outside image for the room. So this is quite nice when you want a visual effect like a garden or a city in the background. There's quite a bit that one can do with detail in a design. I'm not going to do too much, but as you can see, I've run a feature called Auto Address, which has placed items like plates etc automatically in the design on specific units and I'm also now just going to place a blind over the window which will just give it a little more of a realistic touch. Now that blind is going to come in at the wrong height so I'm going to go back into elevation view and reposition it using my mover tool. And now we can just see that in 3D. Just going to do one more render in Fusion using global illumination. While this is rendering, I'd just like to let you know that this is a very basic design in Fusion. There's a lot more that can be done and we would encourage you to have a look at the gallery of, gallery of what is achievable. But hopefully from this presentation you've got a fair indication of how easy it is to design in Fusion, how easy, how easy it is to get up and running, and the kind of quality of presentation that one can do. It's definitely a very big sales tool and something that will help your clients visualize what you're wanting to make for them. Inevitably it will end up getting you more sales.